Welcome. I hope you are having a fantastic month. We are just a few days shy of entering the second month of 2020. Boy, does it go fast. I hope you are continuing to progress and achieve success in your goals for the beginning of the year. Well, we are back today for monthly empties. This is a series that I do the end of every month. This will be the first one of 2020. We have a lot of products to go over. Don't forget everything will be linked in the drop down box below this video. But as always, you are going to have easier access to shopping if you click the top link in the drop down box, which will take you to my corresponding blog post. Let's get started. A lot to go through. If you are new to my channel, let me just share with you that I will let you know what I like and what I will repurchase and what I won't. Also, as you get to know me, you will see a lot of repeat items. Over the years, I have found what works for me and what hasn't, and I don't stick with anything that does not serve me. Everything that I use is very performance based. I don't stick with it unless it's high caliber, just like the person that I, I strive to be. Don't forget, I just recently did a video how to be a high caliber person and live optimal in the year 2020 and for life. You can get to that video in the drop down. You can also get to it by clicking up here in the corner. All right, let's go. Starting with skincare, that's the other thing is I do try to share products in categories. The first item I'm going to share with you is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. In the singles, been loving this little packet because they come in individual packages. This is perfect for washing your makeup on the road, which if you follow me closely, you know that I do that sometimes. If you don't know that, you just keep following and you'll find that out soon. These are also great for traveling. And if you ever need to do a hostess basket to put in your home because you have guests or your older children coming home to stay, it's great to have these little individual singles for your guests. Another empty that you will always see on repeat is my exfoliating cotton rounds. Love these. I have a product here by one of my favorite lines, L'Occitane. This is the Radiance Scrub. This was sent to me. I would not repurchase it. It was good enough for me to finish the jar but I have a couple other exfoliators that I talk about all the time that I absolutely love and I want to share those with you. These ones are not empties yet, but when they are, I will be sure to include them. I love the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. This is such a great exfoliator. I've never found anything that I like any better, but I found one that I like equivalent. So what I do is I interchange the two. This is the ZO Skin Health Exfoliating Polish by Obagi. A little pricey, but both of these products, I cannot tell you how much I recommend them. Another product always on repeat is the Mederma Advanced Dry Skin Therapy Facial Toner. This is the only facial toner that I use. I don't have dry skin. I have more oily skin, but I love this. I also love that it has the pump, so you can put your exfoliating cotton round on the top, pump it, and you will get your toner on there. So lo love the packaging of this as well, and it's always on repeat. Love the Peter Thomas Roth masks. I emptied one. This is the Cucumber Gel Mask. Not my favorite of the Peter Thomas Roth masks, so I would not purchase this particular one individually but often i do purchase the whole entire set where he offers several of his masks it's a beautiful kit to pick up during the holidays or for mother's day or something like that that's when i'll get it but i would not purchase this individually there's just too many other ones that i like more an item always on repeat is the dr brenner vitamin c serum with vitamin e ferulic and hyaluronic acid. You know I love my acids. You also know that I am on an aggressive anti-aging skincare routine. I will have that video linked and I will also have it up here in the corner 
basically following everything because it's so results oriented. But this product here, very affordable and it's always on repeat. Another product that is always on repeat, but it, it lasts a long time. So you probably have not seen this in forever. It is the Paula's Choice Resist Skin Firming Line Minimizer. This is the only serum that I have had luck with to wear under makeup. I have to be very careful with wearing skincare products under my makeup because it will just produce so much oil. I don't know why that is, but I've tried so many. But the Paula's Choice Resist, for some reason, I have no issues. So I use this in the morning on makeup wearing days. On non-makeup wearing days, I wear other skincare serums and products and you will see those in my skincare video. I have a sample that was given to me, a Glam Glow Super Serum. I have been using these. I've had several that were given to me. I've been taking them with me when I travel. It is not a product that I love. I have other serums that I love more, so it is not something I would purchase. I have a sample here of the Skin SkinCeuticals Resveratrol BE loved this product i mean you can't really see it and of course you know that i cut it open and i always use my every drop beauty spatula i ended up purchasing an additional one of these so that i could show it every month because i use my beauty spatula all the time this is a must-have i i'm already thinking like easter but if you have a young adult daughter or a teen this would be great to put in their easter basket who is thinking about easter baskets a mother of five is always thinking about stuff like that. So did love this product. I would recommend it. It is something I would purchase if I was in the market to pick up some products. Right now, I think my stash is pretty good. I have another product here that was sent to me. May Love, the Night Renewer Glycolic Acid Cream. I love glycolic acid. This was a great product. Not something I would purchase because... I use my glycolic acid separate and then I use a moisturizer later, so I really don't need a double dose of my glycolic acid, but it was great. We have another face cream. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This was a lovely product. This would be something that I would definitely recommend and I would purchase and pick up if I were in the market and needed something and wanted to try something new or purchase something new. Definitely a good product. Another product that was sent to me for review, this is by City Beauty. This is their Under Eye Recovery. This was nice. Uh, it was a lighter consistency, so it was perfect for under makeup because when I put moisturizer or eye cream or something like that, eye gel, whatever it may be, under my eye area prior to applying makeup, I like more of a thinner consistency. And when I do my PM skincare, I'm more inclined to use something a little thicker. So this was perfect for that. Not sure what the price was, uh, if it was affordable or not, but I would recommend it. Moving on to body care and feminine hygiene. Uh, let's start with my razor refill. I've shared that I use the Gillette Mach 3 to shave. Uh, it's a man's razor. I, I will make sure that I link it, but I always have to put some refills in throughout the month, maybe once, once or twice. I always... I believe I have this in, in every empties video is what I'm getting at. Opened up a package of my L'Occitane Delicious Soap. Will not be without this. Always on repeat. Always purchase three at a time. It's just what I do. I don't know why. Just Sharon. I have a hand wash here that I love. I am so bummed that it's empty, but uh, my husband has one next to his sink. I have one next to my sink. Mine is empty, but his is not, so I do still get to enjoy it, but I do need to pick up another one. This is the C.O. Bigelow Hand Wash in Cashmere Fig. This smells so amazing. I love when your hand wash smells good. It's That is something that I'm a sucker for. You can't even, you just can't. You can't even figure out what this is. <laughs> oh my, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it was... Oh gosh, and there's like a piece of hair hanging from it. It was a L'Occitane Delicious Hands hand cream in the full size. Yes, cut her open, scraped her out. Not easy when it's this metal type of packaging, but 
you just know I'm cutting everything open all the time. We have some carefree thong panty liners and we also have the traditional regular carefree panty liners. Purchase both of them on repeat all the time. Another thing that is always on repeat, and if you've been following me, you already know about this, but is my diapers basically that I wear for my workouts when I am doing anything that is a jumping motion. So when I do my walking treadmill program, I don't need to wear a diaper. When I do my high intensity interval training or HIIT workouts, Tabata, anything with a bouncing motion, I have to wear a diaper because my bladder is not great, hence five pregnancies. So I usually pick up the Depend Silhouettes, but my husband picked up this huge box from Sam's Club. So this is the Members Mark Total Protection Underwear for Women, as in diaper underwear for women. Moving on to teeth care, one of my favorites. Well, it's not fun to, to have to brush our teeth and go through everything that we do, but I love teeth care. Retainer Bright, shared this in the past. These are the little tablets that my husband and I use to wash our Invisalign trays. Another go-to that you see all the time in my empties is my Opal Essence Go Tooth Whitening System. Love these. Now, I do have a teeth whitening video where I talk about all of my products in my routine. It'll be linked. It will also be up here in the corner. I'm still following the whole program with the, two, with the teeth whitening routine that I did then in all the products. So basically, I do my teeth whitening every day for maintenance, but that doesn't include this. I use these trays once or twice a week. All the other days, including the days that I do use these, I do the other part of the routine and, and, the, and use the products. So if you want to know what the whole system is to keep the whites looking pearly, check out my teeth whitening routine video. Moving on to hair products, and I really just have one this month, almost two, because when I used my uh, Living Proof Dry Volume Blast today, it is just about out. Like I have to turn it certain ways to get it to work, but it's not completely empty. So I didn't want to throw it in here. It'll be in the next one. We have the Tresemme Tray 2 Extra Firm Control Hairspray. Been using this forever and will continue to use this forever. Moving on to makeup and fragrance. The reason I'm showing this box of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5 is because my daughter was home for Christmas and uh, a couple weeks following before she went back to college and she needed a brow pencil and I just said, you know what? I have a whole bunch of extra ones of the benefit that I benefit product I use. I'll just give you one. So I opened it up and gave one to her, but I thought I would just show you the box. This is just a great pencil. It's very fine. Uh, the Anastasia Brow Wiz is basically the same product, so whichever one, pick your poison, but definitely recommend this one. Two lipsticks emptied, and the reason for that is I took my beauty spatula and I scraped them out, and I have a little container that's an old makeup, it, it's, it's from way back in the day from MAC, and it has three different slots, and lipstick had came in them. Well, I saved it when I used up the lipsticks, and that's where I will put the excess that I dig out of here with the beauty spatula. This is old and it was one of my favorite lipsticks. It's Maybelline in 870 Afternoon Tea. I love this lipstick. So I'm thinking about going on eBay and seeing if I can find it because it was always a great shade for me. Um, I will link what I can find, but Maybelline lipsticks are fantastic. I tell you, I've always been so happy with them. And then I scraped this one out as well with the Beauty Spatula. This is a go-to, always on repeat, super affordable. It would be drugstore pricing. It's Palladio in Shirley Pink, cream formula, super hydrating, herbal. I think it's called herbal, Palladio herbal maybe uh, lipstick, but love it. And I will always have this one on repeat. I'm so glad that I picked it up at one time at Sally's and have just constantly repurchased it. I actually have another one that I'm using right now. I have one fragrance sample uh, that I used up and I do share my little samples in my empties because as you know, if you've been following me, I collect 
fragrance samples. And that's generally what I use unless I, I want one of my signature scents that I have on hand. But I will a lot of times, if I don't really have much going on, just use a sample because then I can find out if I like it. And then in the notes app of my phone, I keep a tailing list of the scents that I love enough that I would purchase. So, um, and I'm pretty picky, but this one is Derek Lamb 10 Crosby and the scent is Drunk on Youth. This was good, uh, don't get me wrong, I did like it, but I actually have a bottle of Derek Lamb, of Derek Lamb 10 Crosby in a different scent. I will look and see what the scent is that I have and I will link it below because I have a travel spray of that one and I like that one better. So that would be the one I would recommend, not necessarily this one. Fragrance is hard though because we all have our own personal preference. Um, so it's hard for someone to tell you uh, what, what they would recommend because you may not like it. Every month I share any supplements that I have used up. So that's what we are going to go through Today, let me share with you that everything that I share, I have already repurchased because I will not be without them. This is my probiotic or one of the probiotics that I use, especially when I'm going to travel. And that is why this one is empty because I just recently had traveled to Austin, Texas. And uh, I had to pack some of these and I used them up. The Renew Life Extra Care Ultimate Flora Probiotic in 30 billion. I believe the package that I picked up this time was the 50 billion. With my clients, I always recommend 30 billion at a minimum. Um, if you have some more digestive type issues, you may want to go with a higher one. So definitely recommend these. They don't need to be refrigerated, so they're really nice for travel as the ones that I keep in my home do have to be refrigerated. I have a neural peak here. This is going to be my, um, not, is it rhodiola rosea? No. Anyway, Neural Peak, <laughs> Memory Focus, Clarity. It has the rhodiola rosea, a couple other things in it. This is always on repeat as well. And then I emptied a couple of my sublingual B12s. I always do the sublingual. They're like a cherry flavor, uh, plus B6, folic acid, biotin. Anyway, B12s always on repeat. Moving on to lifestyle and home products. Emptied a box of my Zeiss or Zeiss 50 lens wipes. So these are individual lens wipes for your glasses, but I also use it for my cell phone. So I use these all the time on the go. I have them everywhere in my car, in my makeup case, just in case I need to wash my phone. They're always in my handbag. I think they're so great to have. Again, if you have glasses or, um, or just for your phone, it's great to have these. Also, I don't know if I've ever talked about the Peeps unit to wash your glasses that you can put in your handbag. Such a cool item. I will make sure I link that. I have purchased that for gifts. And I used up two candles this month. We have the Diptyque Bay. Love, 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 and will always continue to repurchase. Actually, Oh, I don't have it out here. I keep makeup brushes in another one of these. And then you can't really tell what this one is because it's just clear glass, but this is by Ergo and it is the rosemary. I burnt this all through the holidays, but I will, I, I already have another one um, because I just always repurchase it. Very affordable. This is a great gift. It would go in anyone's decor. So it's just such a great scent. Put it on your list to give to everyone for Christmas next year. Just, yeah, I can burn this. I could burn it year round, but I, I am going to continue to burn through the winter months just because I just love it. I just love it. Oh, and then my zebra pen. You always see these probably every single month and you probably will. Again, I'm a blue ink gal. I like the 1.0 for the type of uh, point that you write with, but these are always on repeat, can't be without them. All right, let's move on to food and beverages. And you can only imagine what type of beverages I will be sharing with you after uh, the whole holiday uh, indulgences. <laughs> we are going to start with pasture-raised eggs. You see these every single month. I don't save every single container and there are different uh, brands. This is actually, the Kroger Simple Truth brand, but you want to make sure your eggs are pasture raised. 
Uh, cage free is not the same, so make sure somewhere on the packaging it says pasture raised. Another brand that is like everywhere is called Happy Eggs. So those are all great and recommend. Purchased a couple different Atkins bars. Which ones do we have? We'll start with this one. Uh, Brittany, who does my microneedling and my hydrofacial, she keeps this particular snack low carb or keto snack, I guess. I'd say more low carb. Um, and, and she had recommended them. So I picked them up. It's the chocolate peanut butter pretzel bar. Very good. Would continue to pick these up. Yeah, it, it's a nice treat. I always recommend food from its natural state. That's true clean eating. But let's be honest, sometimes we need packaged snacks in a pinch. And also if you're going to have a sweet tooth, uh, having something like this is better than the alternative. A lot of these are sweetened with like stevia or some type of artificial, so they're going to uh, they're going to complement a lifestyle of losing weight or maintenance mode more than having a Reese's peanut butter cup. Here we have the Atkins Indulge peanut butter cups. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Just don't overdo it. This is one a day if it fits into your calorie count for that day. You don't wanna be having several of these. Be very careful. I am someone who has to watch that. Another one Kirsten turned me on to by the Atkins Indulge, and these are keto friendly because she is back to doing keto. This is the Caramel Nut Chew Bar. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, amazing. I have a box that is coming actually today. Um, I ordered these, I already ordered these, they're already here, but this one I ended up ordering a box because they are so good. Now you can get these at Sam's Club in a, in a box that comes with half this flavor and the other half is coconut. I don't like coconut, that's why I just went ahead and got on Amazon and ordered a box of these individually, but so delicious. Another little treat that I had this month is the Lily's Dark Chocolate Covered Peanuts. These would be keto friendly as well. What you really have to pay attention to folks, and I say this all the time with these more treats, if you are in maintenance mode or on a weight loss program, is look at your serving size. Sometimes these treats are two or three serving sizes. I believe this little pouch here is three and a half serving sizes. So you have to be really careful. You can't just sit and eat this whole pouch because that's not going to serve you in achieving your goals if weight loss or, main, or staying in maintenance is your goal, unless that's the only thing you probably eat all day. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, now we are tapping into a not so good treat. Pips got these for her birthday. She didn't like them, so she gave them to me. I had never had the hazelnut spread M&Ms. They were okay. My favorite M&Ms are the peanut butter, so I would never pick these up, but they were worth trying. And then I saved all my like wine bottles from the holidays to share with you this empties video. So it's gonna look like I have a lot that I drank throughout the month of January, but that is not true. Some of these were actually drank in the month of December. It's just that sometimes I do my videos, you know, a couple, a week and a half, two weeks prior to actually publishing. These are good, I pick them up every year just because I think they're fun and festive to decorate with. And then they also have the smaller little single size. And these are actually a sangria, not like full blown just wine, but they're a sangria. Now I believe this wine, which is a Pinot Noir by the collection, this may have been the wine that Amy and I drank in our last Wine Wednesday. Again, I saved all of my, this is, this is a, this, this is over time. So this may have been the one, I believe it was good from what I can remember. The bottle's beautiful. This bottle of wine was given to me as a gift for Christmas. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's the Dreaming Tree. Very nice bottle of wine. I have had this in the past. Maybe $15, $20 range, maybe 20. And then this was a gift to me from my friend Adele. And this is the Kinker Cabernet Sauvignon. So. People know I like my cab and I do get gifts of it once in a while. This also was a gift and not a gift. This is a love-hate gift. So I love rum chata. It is so good in your coffee. Now that doesn't mean you get up in the morning and you start pouring it in your coffee. Although I may or may not have done that. <laughs> 
this past year. Who knows? Okay, just maybe. I'll never tell. <laughs> I'll never tell on myself. This is a Caribbean rum with real dairy cream. It's so good, but this is just going to pack the pounds on like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so it's one of those things that I always tell loved ones, do not, do not purchase this for me. It just will get me in trouble because it's just something I really have a hard time staying away from. Um, but it's also great to do a lot of different mixed drinks. I have even made rum chata pumpkin pie one year for Thanksgiving. So it is such a great indulgence, but um, it really just doesn't serve me because I, I have a really hard time rationing myself with it. And when, when that's the case, those are the things that I just can't have around. I've identified that about myself. Maybe you need to identify that about yourself is if something is a weakness, you can't have it around because it will not serve you in achieving those goals. Well, there you have it. My empties for the month of January. Don't forget all of the items that I shared with you today will be linked in the drop down as well as on the corresponding blog post. I will be back the end of February for our next monthly motivations. This series will continue the whole entire year. Also, I will be back this coming weekend to share monthly motivation. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Take care.